Rino Turricadne. To uh, make a uh, brief contribution uh, in the committee stage of this bill, and uh, I join with my other colleagues in uh, supporting uh, this legislation, uh, which will bring in the introduction of plain packaging uh, for uh, tobacco products. Uh, sir, uh, there's nothing more left for me to say in terms of uh, just endorsing the intent and the purpose of this legislation and uh, why, we want to, why we want to enact it. And I do acknowledge the Minister uh, for his work. W what I'd like to do, sir, is focus on uh, what I think is, is, is uh, an omission uh, from this uh, legislation, and that involves uh, the, um, uh, the, the effect of internet sales and uh, the plain packaging that may apply, well, and how this law will apply to private purchases which are made online by uh, folks from vendors all over the globe, uh, which are presently allowed, uh, and uh, and how that will how how that will align with the uh, this uh, plain packaging legislation, sir? Because uh, at the moment, sir. Uh, we have an increasing amount of trade which is uh, conducted online and I, I know there are re uh, regulations within uh, regulation making powers within the legislation to pres uh, uh, pr prescribe around the, the nature of internet sales but as I'm aware sir it is still uh, open to any citizen of this country to jump online and to find a relevant vendor uh, around the world to uh, purchase cigarettes and sure sir uh, cigarettes or tobacco products, products cigars, um, whatever, whatever is on offer. And uh, those products, sir, uh, they, may, they may comply with, say, US uh, laws around a general surgeon warning, but they don't go to the extent of the uh, regulations that are um, uh, prescribed by our own uh, laws, sir. So I, I, I just want to clarify, and perhaps we do have the Minister for Customs uh, uh, in the House at the moment, sir, whether uh, the uh, private purchase of uh, internet sales of, uh, un oh, of branded products, tobacco products, will, um, will be prohibited. Will it become a prohibited export? Will it be stopped at the border? Because it is not compliant with the New Zealand plain packaging legislation. Uh, I think as, as consumers increase and become more savvy, and the world is all opened up online, sir. I think uh, we may have, you know, uh, the corner shop selling a, a plain packaged cigarette, but it's certainly open for any citizen to, to purchase their um, treasured, retro-looking branded product that they will uh, that you can't get ordinarily here in New Zealand. They will still be able to purchase it freely and happily uh, on the internet, uh, provided the customs service um, is able to um, intercept that product at the border and uh, charge the relevant duty and excise and GST to the purchaser of that product, will there be the additional uh, prohibition uh, to that product by virtue of the fact that it is not in plain packaging? And so I think that is a very, um, just a straightforward question that I have. Uh, at the moment, as I said, uh, it's open to any citizen of this country to jump online, find themselves a vendor, and purchase a, a box of beautifully, well, no, it's not beautiful, but brightly coloured, branded, psychedelic coloured of the rainbow, all the different flavours that they want. It's open to them. They can, they can purchase it all. Um, and they can pick off the shelf any particular product they want. They needn't go to the corner store and buy a uh, bland, uh, uh, plain packaged product. And so, yeah, well, what is the purpose of this legislation if it doesn't defeat um, the increasing amount of Kiwis that are shopping online, that are doing their purchases online? Uh, from, from uh, I believe the legislation does seem to fall short on that very point, sir. Uh, because how do I know this? Well, sir, I do it myself. Now, <laughs> I'm not actually a smoker, but I have uh, tested the custom system as the custom spokesperson and it is perfectly open to any any person like I do to go online to buy um, whatever selected uh, little cigar products tobacco uh, anything that you want it's open there and in some instances it's not even caught by customs uh, but in the very rare occurrence 
let the uh, beagles at the border do do it, I think that's a very fair, fair uh, point, sir. Oh, um, Jamie Lee Ross.